Welcome back to Teacher Net Explains channel. Don't forget to subscribe, share, like, and leave a comment. This time, we're going to discuss the two kinds of intercepts of a rational function, the x-intercept and the y-intercept. The x-intercept denoted by A comes from the point, from this point, of the graph which is on the x-axis. It is, or the x-intercept is the x-coordinate of the point whose partner y-coordinate is 0, since the point lies on the x-axis. The x-intercept is the A in the ordered pair A0. So, let us say the ordered pair A0 is 2, 0. Hence, the x-intercept in this case is positive 2. To determine the x-intercept of a rational function, we have to follow these two steps. First step is reducing the rational function to lowest term. And second step is equating the function to 0 and then solve for x. Now, why do we have to equate the function to 0? Because remember, f of x is also the same as y. And um, the y-coordinate of an x-intercept is always equivalent to 0 since the x-intercept is a point lying on the x-axis. First example, we have f of x equals x plus 5 all over x minus 1. Recall that our first step is to reduce the rational function into lowest term. Now, since both the numerator and denominator are not factorable anymore, then we have to proceed to step 2. And step 2 is to equate the rational function to 0. So, let us equate the given rational function to 0. So we have x plus 5 all over x minus 1 equals 0. Now, by MPE or multiplication property of equality, we have to multiply both sides by x minus 1. Okay? And by multiplying both sides by x minus 1, this will be cancelled out. And what will be left is x plus 5 on the left side. And then on the right side, 0 by any number multiplied by any number is 0. Or simply, or that can be simply done through cross multiplication. Since we all know that we have 1 here, by cross multiplication, we have x plus 5 by 1 multiplied by 1 is x plus 5 x minus 1 multiplied by 0 is 0. Okay? Next, by APE or addition property of equality, we have x equals negative, x equals negative 5. Therefore, the x-intercept is negative 5. That means the graph will intersect the x-axis at negative 5. Next example, we have f of x equals x squared minus 4x minus 5 all over x plus 1. Now, first step is to reduce the rational function into lowest term. Since the numerator is still factorable, then we have to factor it out first. So that is, its factors are two binomials. So, factor out the first term x squared, we have x and x. Factor out the last term, negative 5, we have 5 and 1. Now, since the sign of 5 of the last term is negative, then its factors 5 and 1 should have different sides. But, which is negative and which is positive? We have to look at the sign of the middle term. The sign of the middle term is negative. Therefore, whichever is higher between 5 and 1 should also have the sign, same sign as that of the middle term which is negative. And since 5 is higher than 1, then 5 is negative and 1 is positive. Then we have to copy the denominator. Then x plus 1 divided by x plus 1 is 1. Hence, what's left is f of x equals x minus 5. Second step. Second step is to equate the function to 0. Okay? And then by APE, that is x equals positive 5. Therefore, in this case, the x-intercept is positive 5. That means the graph will intersect the x-axis at positive 5. This time, let us move to the other intercept, the y-intercept. It is denoted by B and is contained 
in the point, in this point, lying on the y-axis. Now, suppose the ordered pair of that point is 0B. B is the y-intercept and its x-coordinate is 0 since the point lies on the y-axis. Okay? So, suppose this point has an ordered pair 0, 3. Now, its x-coordinate is 0 since it lies on the y-axis. And 3 is the y-intercept. Hence, to determine the y-intercept of a rational function, first step is to reduce the rational function to lowest term, and second step is to substitute 0 to x and solve for y. So let us use the same examples we used earlier. First example is f of x equals x plus 5 all over x minus 1. Now, first step is to reduce the rational function to lowest term. Since both the numerator and denominator are not factorable anymore, then we have to proceed to step 2. Step 2 is we have to substitute 0 to all x's. Hence, this given function will now become f of x can also be expressed as y equals, now all x's will become 0. Okay, then we have y equals 0 plus 5 is 5 over 0 minus 1 is negative 1. Positive divided by negative is negative 5 divided by 1 is 5. Hence, y-intercept is negative 5. That means the graph will intersect the y-axis at negative 5. Okay, next example, we have f of x equals x squared minus 4x minus 5 all over x plus 1. So first step again is to reduce the rational function into lowest term. So again, we have to factor out the numerator. Okay, so we have f of x equals, so just like what we did in our previous, in one of our previous examples, factors of this given trinomial are x minus 5 and x plus 1. Then we just have to copy the denominator. And then just like what we did before, we cancelled out x plus 1. And what's left is x plus 5 x minus 5. The second step is to substitute 0 to all x's. And since we may express f of x as y, then this is equivalent to y equals x is 0 minus 5. y equals 0 minus 5 is negative 5. Hence, the y-intercept is negative 5 and that means the graph will intersect the y-axis at negative so you have just learned everything about the x-intercept and y-intercept of rational functions. Until next time!